Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Um, in this video, it's going to be a brief, short video. And so far, my thoughts and observation of CES Vegas. One of the most impressive things that came to me personally so far in a couple of days from CES Vegas, it's Sony. And uh, looking at the LG and Samsung, there is nothing substantial extraordinary that came out of uh, both LG and Samsung uh, the only thing that's new with Samsung is the VRR and of course uh, their new amping of the uh, peak brightness nits up to 4000 which is a good step up you know but one of the most stepping boundaries right here it's Sony and the reason I say stepping boundaries because they are really stepping up the boundary here. Uh, they're moving forward really to the future with their new ultimate prototype X1 chip. This chip right here that you're seeing, the Sony ultimate prototype chip, it's definitely going to be a game changer for the future TVs. And Sony is definitely going to move that ball going this year. Uh, this ultimate prototype x1 chip is going to be the most powerful chip installed on a television with this chip what you're going to be getting it's a unbelievable rendering between 4k and 8k yes this chip is going to be able to handle 8k resolution and on top of that 8k resolution you're going to be getting a full capacity dynamic range of HDR. I'm talking about 10,000 nits of peak brightness. 10,000 nits of peak brightness with this X1 Ultimate chip, prototype chip, is just simply going to be insane. Just think about watching a movie that's in 8K and with 10,000 nits. Imagine how beautiful that Dolby Vision is going to look on a television like Sony with the X1 Ultimate Prototype chip. And to me, this is a game changer. To me, this is truly a game changer uh, in terms of the computing power that this chip is going to be able to, to process. Uh, not just rendering that HDR in 10,000 nits, but also rendering in 4K and 8K natively with the motion flow without any judder. Uh, it's just going to be truly breathtaking picture, you know. And some people were lucky enough to see some of these models, prototype X1 Ultimate, built-in chips, television sets out there on the floor in CES Vegas. And from what I have heard on the forums, they were like... Jaws were dropped pretty much, you know, they were like totally impressed and um, rightly so they should be. There is a huge drastic difference when you're watching something that's making 1000 to, to 1200 nits and then you step into something that's 10,000 nits. We're talking maximum ultimate full white collar gamut beyond full white collar gamut than what we have here currently. Uh, the, the difference is just going to be like night and day. That's the best way I guess I can explain it. Uh, I don't think people can grasp just what a huge difference that's going to be. Let's say you're coming from a television like an OLED. That's 800 nits, roughly 800 nits or 750 nits. And then you step up to this 10,000 nits. That's just going to be mind-boggling HDR that you're going to be experiencing here. So, to me personally, so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with Sony so far. With this prototype chip, I'm really impressed what they're doing. And even he here, he spoke about like just a, what a drastic difference is going to make stepping up to something that's 10,000 nits 
instead of something that's let's say 800 nits or, or 900 nits you do the math even from something that's even 4000 nits you stepping into something that's 10000 nits uh the full dynamic range of white color palette gamma i mean gamut i'm sorry white color palette uh gamut it's just going to be unbelievable that that full white color range of uh palette on that dynamic range of 10,000 nits, it's just going to pop out of the screen. I mean, you're going to be looking at imagery that's just going to simply pop out of the screen. And when you add a 8K on top of that, with that 10,000 nits, okay, I just want you guys to picture this. I just want you guys to picture this. Just imagine watching something that's on... 8K resolution. To be exact, 16, 16 million pixels. 16 million pixels with 10,000 nits of dynamic range of peak brightness. 10,000 nits of peak brightness. Not only is that picture going to look razor sharp, but with that 10,000 peak brightness nits and that full palette of color, that's going to pop out of that screen, it's going to look three-dimensional. It's going to look so insane. And that X1 Ultimate prototype chip, it's going to be the game changer. Now, obviously, this will cost you arm and leg. Something like this, don't expect to get 65-inch less than 8000 or maybe $10,000. I don't know the pricing, but I'm guessing within seven dollars to $8,000 price range, maybe even higher. So <laughs> it's going to cost you arm and leg. But hey, you get what you pay for. This is it. This is going to be the game changer. Now, Samsung, okay, they're improving a little bit. They're jumping up to 4,000 nits. And that's pretty substantial for an HDR. Meaning your HDR, it's going to look phenomenal with that 4,000 nits with their new uh, Samsung TVs. They haven't said nothing about uh, HDR Plus that much. I haven't heard anything about HDR Plus. So they're kind of keeping quiet on that. We'll see what's going to happen with the HDR Plus. However, that 4,000 nits will definitely uh, be a game changer for them. Meaning they will be able to implement that HDR Plus into a, these new televisions from Samsung uh, with uh, 4,000 nits. I mean, 4,000 nits is definitely going to be. A huge game changer you know watching a movie on a, on a 4000 nits with the hdr it's gonna be like a brand new experience pretty much you know lg i don't know lg hasn't really done much in terms of their oleds uh they're working on the d on you know their OLEDs, the, they haven't really bumped up the peak brightness or anything like that. It's still the same peak brightness. The only difference is uh, the, the motion flow, the, the response time is going to be a little bit better. And the uh, uniformity and, and deep dark levels, obviously, going to be even more better. And I don't know how much better can they get. You know, it's an OLED. <laughs> it's good as, as deep as they can be. But uh, I wasn't really impressed with the uh, LG, you know. They really, they haven't really done anything stepping, like, boundary like these guys did here on a Sony. So I was really impressed by Sony. Uh, Samsung, you know, it's okay. You know, they got that new TV coming out that's going to handle the uh, 4,000 nits. Uh I haven't heard nothing about micro LEDs. I, I thought they were going to mention something about the micro LEDs, but uh, it's still not being said anything. So this video is just my like first, first impressions. And so far, I'm really impressed by Sony and their new X1 Ultimate prototype chip. You know. So uh, there you have it. My thoughts are and my opinions are that Sony here has the upper hand this year at sony uh press conference at ces vegas uh because i really haven't seen anything from both lg or samsung that's anything substantially 
stepping the boundaries and moving to a, a new horizon or anything like that. If you want to look at the 4,000 nits, okay, that's a welcome, you know, uh, it's nice that we're going to be able to purchase a TV that has 4,000 nits, but again, what the pricing is going to be for that, you know, and this to me, it's the ultimate game changer, 10,000 nits with the 4K and 8K. So you're already future-proof with something like this, you know. So anyway, there you guys have it. Just my opinion and the first impressions. Like I said, uh, I haven't seen nothing super, super great that I... Uh, that Look, it's ter- look. if you have C7 OLED, stick with C7 OLED. There's no reason for you to upgrade to, to a new OLED. These are small nuances, small little tiny things that are not worth you spending that extra cash. Unless they implement 3D or something like that, maybe. But if you have C7 Series, 7 Series OLED, stick with the 7 Series OLED. You're good. Okay? This right here, it's the future. What Sony's doing. This is what, to me, it's the most impressive thing that I have seen so far on the CES Vegas 2018. All right, this is Mr. Fork Upscaler. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. All right, guys. Have a good one, though. Take care.